Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, um, it was a pretty quick deal. Um, I messaged someone like at two in the morning on Facebook Marketplace. I don't like doing that really, but at least I've got the message when they've got up. Um, seen a deal, it's over in Eversham. So I'm gonna, um, just at the shop, I had to get something. Um, I've got to go there, pick it up, and I thought while I'm over there, check out the charity shops. I've been I've been to Eversham before, and there's some pretty good charity shops there. Um, so yeah, I'll do a charity shop video, and um, I'll show you what I'll, I'll show you the Facebook pickup, and then I've sold some more records, so I might do a little sing along. You see, you seem to have liked that. So, um, and I've sold some other few bits since the last video, so I might as well throw it on this one. Um, so, it's snowing at the moment, raining, sleety snow, um, nasty weather, um, so, Eversham, Facebook pickup, I can't believe I've uh, come across this, and for the price, you'll see what it is shortly, bye bye. Here we have it, Facebook pickup, the, again, the uh, Playmobil. Victorian mansion uh, come with a bag of accessories figures all sorts um, it was on for 170 um, I messaged this morning uh, asking if she would go if she would do 150 I paid 150 for the last one um, grateful that it's all together still all in one piece so don't have to worry about putting it all together for the pictures so yeah 150 again i'll probably throw it up for 450 see what happens on to eversham town center forgot my chest cam got it <sighs> sue rider there oh there's one here as well Coming down now. Ooh. Got to drive back in this. <sighs> Just come across this car. Look at this. Lego. Huh. See if someone does tap to their car. Lego mod. Madness. Right, that's the um, Eversham charity shops done. It's not too bad. Um, some of the stuff's expensive, but like most charity shops, they don't know everything. So it's you know you gotta get stuck in <clears throat> and see what you can find. Uh, we're going back to the shop now. Got a few items that have sold, so I'll show you what's sold. Um, and I'll show you a bit more in depth of uh, what I picked up in a bit. Hello, this is John Cincinnati Picker here. Got a couple of orders going out today. Let's see what we got. First order going out. We got a Hugo Spanish CD set. Six CDs of Spanish. That sold for $19.99, free shipping. Okay, next order we got is in C2 right up here. It's an Xbox power adapter. This was picked up in a recent Xbox 360 bundle. And that sold for $13.49, free shipping. 
Next up, down here, bottom shelf, we sold some Fast Track Trans 300 roller skates. These cost me three bucks at a car boot sale. And they sold for $25.99, sorry, $24.99, free shipping. Next up, we sold some Puma Suede. These were on for $24.99. Had an offer of $15, 15 pounds. And I took that, free shipping. Oh, that was my Cincinnati, Cincinnati picker impression. Uh, next up, we've sold some records. Stack of records, one, two, three, four, five, six records. I'll attempt to give you a little um, blast of what they sound like. First up, 911 QT. Um, it's just like an old hip hop R&B track, never heard of it. It's not 911 who we know, it's a different. Next up, Luther Vandross. Luther the Boss Vandross. I can make it better. And you're basically saying, Whatever you're going through, I can make it better. Whatever. Uh, next up, we got Eastside Beat, Ride Like the Wind, um, which I do remember this. It goes, Ride like the wind to be, to be free again. Ride like the wind to be, to be. Oh, you know what I mean. Uh, next one, I sold this for $14.99, um, Hypnotic State by Alternate. Um, these were the original mask wearers uh, back in the sort of late 80s, early 90s. If ever you've seen them do a live set or if they're doing any promotional shoots, they've always got the masks on. Um, probably filled with poppers. Uh, next up, DJ Sneak, back in the box. I think I sold this for $12.99. Um, DJ Sneak... He's gone sort of down in, in my estimations over the years. Um, he, he makes arguments with other DJs. Um, he's not really a nice guy. But this is probably the best tune, uh, in my opinion, of the day. Um, it goes something like... If ever you want to listen to any of these tracks, I always put them on my Instagram. Brum underscore reason. Uh, next up, Man With No Name, Floor Essence, uh, Perfecto FC. This um, label's owned, owned by Paul Oakenfold. Um, I did have two of these. They're both sold now, so I'm currently out of stock. Um, so it's not a popular one. It's just sold over the years. Um, it goes a little something like... Okay, the last one, Wham! Album, fantastic. Uh, standout track on here, Club Tropicana. Club Tropicana, drinks are free. Fun and sunshine, there's enough for everyone. Um, something else that's sold. Um, picked up a stack of these last car boot a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was a tin for three pound. And in them, there was 20 Pokemon cards, but there was a load of other uh, football cards and all sorts of different cards. So I took these out, put them on an auction for 9 99 and they sold for £12.50, something like that, £12.50 um, on an auction. So I've got the monies back now. I've just got to go through the other cards and see what sort of... Uh, there's some sort of match tax cards, and I know that some of them could be worth a, bit, a little bit of money. I doubt it. But yeah, money's back, £12.50 with that little stuff. So this is today's haul, all together, all in one go. Um, I spent £205 altogether. Um, not bad, really. I mean, money's all in there. Uh, paid £150. Quid, and I'll, like I said, I'll stick it, I'll stick it on for £450. Again... Lots of little figures in there. There's a kid sitting there in a sink. Not sure what's going on there. And yeah, loads of little... Very similar to what I had before. Um, and it, it's nice to have all the flower parts. The roof is somewhere. It is somewhere. Yeah, it's in really nice condition. She said it was in the loft. She wanted 175. 
Um, I asked if she would take. Um, I asked if she would take 150. She's like, yeah, no problem. So that was my day planned, really. That was, um, I thought I'll go down to Eversham and have a look at the charity shops while I'm there. So while I was there, I uh, got a regatta coat for a fiver. Quite a thick one, not bad. I'll get this on while the weather's cold. Any little bonuses in the pockets? No. No bonuses. No, they've gone through. Um, next up, true religion jeans. Now I remember like the bad mans from back in the day wearing these. Um, so I'm guessing if there were bad mans then, they're probably still bad mans now, and they're probably still wearing them. Um, Eight ninety nine, and they're really, they're in a really good condition still. Um, I'm not sure on the price, but I think I remember them being a bit like the Ivisu style jeans, which were pretty expensive as well. Next up, I paid two pounds sixty for this. Not sure what the, not sure what they're doing at two pounds sixty, but it was um, hand track mouse for optimal freedom without limitation. And it's just like um, just like a mouse you can. That's it, you can just chill out with while you're on your Zoom calls. Um, these mouses can be really expensive, depending on the ones, the different ones, but um, £2.60, I thought I'd have a little gamble on that. Um, and then these. No. These are they're a bit dirty, so I'm going to have to clean them up a bit. Um, pay £34. Um, but look at that. Um, I think they're copper plated brass handles. Uh, now, if you put vintage copper and brass saucepans into um, eBay, these can be at over a hundred pounds for a good set. Um, I'll probably be. I haven't done the proper research on them yet. I've only just had a quick glance while I was in the shop. But I think I can get over £100 for them. Um, and they look really nice as well. Very nice. Um, I think you can get like... There's no branding on them. But they've barely been used. There's no brand. So... There, that's a little thing there. So I think the copper plated... Apparently you can tell from the sound what sort of metal it is. Whatever that sounds like. But um, yeah, I mean today if, if you're looking at a return on on this, I spent 200 quid, a potential 450 there, 550, probably about 35 on the coat, possibly, t I mean 25 on the jeans. A six, I mean, I don't know what that is, but it's, it's about a £600 return from a £200 spend. Um, I've just got to sell it now. <laughs> but, yeah, that is my Wednesday vlog. Um, I don't think there's going to be... The car boot last week was cancelled. I'm not too surprised because the weather was disgusting. Um... So, not sure when the next video will be, but I'll see you there anyway. Bye bye. I had a message as well to say, to ask if I would be kind enough to do a shout out for Ryan and Erin. So, here it is. Hello. Hello.